Get the brand new Galaxy onesie at alex-plays.com. During a boxing match, would you rather have a section of your ear bitten off or lose your two front teeth? Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video where today you join me on Would You Rather once again because today we are gonna turn it up a notch. We are not just gonna be thinking about this one or that one. We're really gonna be delving in and getting to the bottom of which we think would be the best one because usually we do it, we go pretty in depth, but this time we go it all out. So, as a leader, would you rather be loved or be feared? Well, let me think about this. So being loved would mean that there's no problems probably, or be feared would mean there's probably no problems, but then people will <laughs> do a revolution. You'll probably be um, be taken out of the office and you wouldn't be able to be the leader anymore because people would be so angry when they get their, their weapons and stuff and they can't, they come and take you out and you'd be like, what? No, thank you. So being loved to be, ah, but then someone might take you over you, you know, that's bad. That's real bad. So we're gonna say be loved because I think, yes, 18% would rather be feared. Why? Surely that seems like a worse option because if you're loved, like who's loved right now? Like the queen, she's not really a leader. Justin Trudeau is apparently very loved Canadian man. Be feared, uh, like uh, I guess Donald Trump who everybody is like, mm -hmm, what is happening? But anyway, would you rather emit robot noises when you move? So you're like, me, 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 no. You don't have to do, you don't have to walk like a robot, but that would be fun. Emit robot noises whenever you move. Robot noises, like or is it like beeps? I don't know, make camera shutter sounds whenever you blink. So you'd be like terrible camera shutter sounds, but you know what I mean, you know, that when it's like please tell me you know, but yeah, so emit robot noises or make camera shutter sounds. Now, my robot noises could get really annoying. Camera shutter sounds, also very annoying. You'd be blinking, people would think you're taking pictures of them. Not the best. It would probably be real weird. And if I'm doing a video, I would have to sit real still. I presume what it means when you move, like your arms and legs, not like your neck, or possibly, definitely not the mouth, or maybe the mouth too. Anything you move. I'm gonna say camera shutter sounds. 59% because robot noise is going to be any time you do anything. But um, camera shutter sounds is just when you blink. So it's kind of less, I guess, because robot noises would happen when you blinked. And that's no good. Would you rather find a book about I've done this one? When you rack up a new toilet paper roll, would you rather have it facing the wall or have it facing away from the wall? So what that means is when you put the toilet paper on the little, the, 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 the rod thing, you have it going one way, like the, the paper towel comes down this way or it comes down that way. There, like that. So the right way is obviously have it facing away from the wall because if it's facing into the wall, that's not good. You can't really get a good grip of that. But if it's holding it coming down the other way, just take it up, just grab it. So having facing away 75%, 25% of you, you're doing it wrong, you know, because paper, toilet paper, toilet, ro toilet paper roll is actually meant to be facing the away from the wall as it is in its patent. Would you rather be stuck in an aquarium with great white shark or be stuck in a room where the floor is covered in a layer of spiders? If you're in an aquarium with a great white shark, chances are that great white shark is very understanding of being in an aquarium because it's probably fed well and it probably has people in scuba suits come down because I know that you can go scuba diving in aquariums. Pretty much quite a lot of aquariums have that where you go swimming with sharks. However, stuck in a room where the floor is covered in spiders, that means that quickly those spiders go on the walls, they're on the ceiling, they're on you. No thank you, aquarium. Yeah, 65%, 35% of people clearly they don't mind spiders. Me, however, it's never gonna happen. If you worked in close proximity to a coworker all day, would you rather they had terrible body odor or terrible bad odor, or they played your least favorite music on repeat constantly? Probably either of these, you can probably say, stop doing that. Or, or you can't say, <laughs> stop smelling. You'd say like, like, would you mind using some deodorant? Or this one, you'd say, quit that. I don't wanna hear it you better stop with those tunes because that's real annoying. My least favorite music, I don't know what my least favorite is. Probably, 
I don't like country music very much at all. When I hear that, I don't know. The scream rock, like that. That sort of stuff, if that makes sense. So that. 74%. Your company gives you two choices for vacation. Would you rather vacation in Russia or vacation in China? Well, Russia, I would probably visit um, Moscow, go and see that. And also in Russia, they have a plane that you can take where you go in anti-gravity because it goes, as it falls down to earth, you float inside the plane. That's cool. Or vacation in China. Great Wall, Beijing. I'm trying to list the best things of China that I can think of, but of course there's probably a lot more than comes to mind right now. But I would probably choose China. I think I'd have a more interesting time there, but it's split 50-50 almost, 48-52. Well, more people prefer China, it would seem. Would you rather skip summer or skip winter? Oh, it's a tough one, because summer, it's warm, it's lovely beach or skip winter that's all i can say it's warm it's lovely beach or skip winter freezing cold lasts a long 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 time but there's a little thing at the bottom that says you can't see it but it says the time period you choose simply ceases to exist so i would probably if you skip summer you miss out on the warm if you skip winter you miss out on christmas but it's then warm for most of the year and not freezing i mean even if you skipped winter in england it's still gonna be cold for a lot of the year same with other places too so i'm going to say skip winter 68 percent agree christmas can be another time would you rather be a content failure or be an unhappy success so we could try a project and we fail at it not very good but i'm happy or be an unhappy success so i am living the life i have everything i want i have got the success but i'm unhappy and I don't like it. So I'd probably say the failure, really. 54%, 46%, however, they almost agree. I guess if you're an unhappy success, you could probably change what you're doing to be happy. That might, that may work, like depending on what your situation is. I can't think of one, but that's probably the way to go. Would you rather break your leg? Like I went, I was going like that for arm, but it doesn't say that. Break your leg or break your arm. I've never broken a bone, so I don't know what it feels like or how horrible the healing is because I know you have to wear a cast for a long, long time. That would get real annoying for me. Uh, so break your leg or your arm. Arm would probably be annoying. I don't think any of the, either of these is really much different. I guess if you break your arm, you just have a sling, right? But if you break your leg, you're either in a wheelchair or you're in crutches constantly. That would be horrible. You can't go downstairs properly. I'm gonna say break your arm. 60% agree. I guess those 60% have probably had a broken arm and think, oh, that's better. But 40% may have had a broken leg and be like, oh, an arm would be terrible. <laughs> you don't know. If you had to eat one, hamburger or hot dog? I like this question. It's simple. There's no faffery going on here. So hamburger or hot dog? Well, what do I like the most? I think I would say hamburger pretty much every time. Because although a hot dog is good, the hamburger... Oh, you can't can't beat that. Oh, yes. But I mean, I don't know who would say hot dog that much. I'm going to... We could guess a percentage. Okay, hot dog is going to be 31%. 23%. I was very wrong. But look at that. 77. So three quarters of people, more than three quarters, think that a hamburger is better. I love a hamburger. Favorite hamburger is probably going to be burger. But then, right, then you don't have ketchup. You don't have tomato. You don't have any of that. You have... Cream cheese with chive. I know it sounds weird, but oh. Oh, it's delicious. Have some onions on there as well. Oh, pop the bun on. Perfect. There you go. Try that out. Would you rather spend a year alone in a deep sea submarine or spend a year alone in a space station? Now, a space station, I think would be pretty beautiful. A submarine would scare me. I have a terrible phobia of the deep sea. If I'm ever like at the swimming at the ocean in the sea, I will not go out very far. I hate being like, I, I'm even getting freaked out talking about it now, so I can't. I'm gonna say space station, 69% agree. Yes, that's the one to do. I'm actually not, my legs feel funny after thinking about being in the ocean, I can't. Would you rather live in a tree house or live in a floating boat house? Again, the boat house is on the sea, so it's a tree house, 58%. And how cool would it be to have a full house in a tree, hey? During a boxing match, would you rather have a section of your ear bitten off or lose your two front teeth? Oh, now, no false teeth, it says. Okay, you know what? I would choose ear. 
straight away probably because having my two front teeth gone would look so weird. I don't like that. Probably actually going to be the thumbnail for the video, but that is bizarre. I would want the ear and you get a cool bit of your ear off. So it looks neat, but um, there we go. That's what that was, 72% agree. We don't know why you'd want to lose your two front teeth. That would probably be not a good look if you had that for the rest of your life. But you know what, guys? That's going to be it for today's Would You Rather. So thank you so much for joining me. If you like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more Double Daily content. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.